welcome back to another video today we are doing a house tour we live down by the sea so i thought i'd start by sharing some videos of where we live we hope you enjoy this video of our recently renovated house this house in August 2018 and then we got the keys in March 2019 so it took quite a while for us to get the keys um, and then we had we gutted it and renovated it and started work in October 2019. So this is our front door, our new one, so a little bit controversial, it's black but we really like it. This is the hallway and this is what you see when you first come in. So the house used to start here um, and we were going to put a door here to have like an enclosed porch but when it came to it we decided actually just to have it really open so it gave this space a bit of a larger, uh, larger feel so we've just got you can see got this little um, side table here with our nice big mirror um, still need to find a way to hide the plugs there but it's fine for the minute um, we've just got this little ottoman for the time. Maybe we've just got short shoes stored in it. We're hoping to get like a nice bench or seat here, um, just for again somewhere to store the shoes and so it ties a bit better. And then this is our one of our favourite things, our mirror, which we got from Next. Um, so we're really pleased that we've done. It reflects the, the light quite nicely. As we've got like a mirror there, mirror there, just like a little ricochet sort of thing. Um, but we're really happy with this mirror and the way that the whole vibe that we're getting and the little lanterns there just add a bit of detail. Our entrance to our living room off the hallway. So we've got these new doors down here. Um, so all new architraves and things like that. So we like these doors just because of the little detail in them here. And then we've got these brushed um, steel door handles as well. So if we go on in, it's quite a small room, um, but we like it because it's very, very cosy. So. We actually put um, this wall up here. This wall wasn't here before. So Jake actually made this. So very good of Jake to make that. Um, so we've gone for a very similar scheme in here. So with the white and the gray and the black, um, we got this sofa from DFS. So it actually fit perfectly. We did so many things measuring it, um, but we like it because it's got obviously the long uh, like chaise bit here. And this actually can come over this side if we wanted to as well. So if we have a moved house and needed wanted it in a different position, we've got that flexibility. Uh, just got this little area over here and obviously our fireplace. So this was here before and um, we're still waiting for our fireplace to be fitted. We're gonna have a gas um, fire and then a nice black surround in marble. Um, but obviously with lockdown and everything, that's had to be put on hold. So we'll probably end up getting it in the summer when we won't need it on. But because this is quite a small room, it's quite cozy anyway. So then we come around this side, we've got the little um, alcove with the telly in, um, adjusting Ikea, best unit on, and then we eventually will get a new TV so it's a bit sleeker, but for the moment it's absolutely fine. And then you can see we've got a nice view outside to the garden. Um, we've got grass at the moment, um, which we will eventually pave um, on it. So we've got a double burst drive, but it's absolutely fine for what it is at the moment. And then this is the matching armchair with the sofa and Jake's like to sit here with a beer and uh, watch the football. So this is our kitchen um, where we had the extension done. So if I put, I'll show you the, what it was like before. Um, here was literally the kitchen. So from here to there, that was how wide the kitchen was. And then we obviously have built all out. So we've got our um, fridge freezer, our Samsung, and we've got our ice and water. Uh, which is nice. We're looking to get some stuff. If anyone can recommend me anything to get stickers off, because that is the bane of our life. Jake said don't peel it off, but I didn't listen and I tried to peel it off thinking I could do it. And no, it looks a mess. So if you can recommend anything, please let me know what I can get off a sticker with. Uh, so this is our sink run. So this is the original place where the sink was in the original house. Um, we've got our worktops and we've got our cup of tap, which we absolutely love. So I really recommend you getting one of these or a similar style of one, because literally you click turn and the boiling water comes out um so and also it's really safe so you can't you literally can't get the boiling water out unless you turn it um this window was the original window out onto the like our like courtyard sort of area jake likes to call it it's not it's almost like just a side alley um where the garage was but we are going to hopefully build we've still got planning to build that side of the house so that's the next thing that um we're going to be doing is building along that side so this window won't actually be there um, because we'll obviously have the other bit of the house and then the windows on the other side. So that's quite exciting. And then this is our 
main pride and joy our island so we got this kitchen from Bren. Um, I'm sure you've seen her attack it quite a lot, but honestly, I couldn't fault Bren. They were really, really helpful. The whole design process, they come and take measurements and you go and sit down and choose what you want. You put it in, you get your virtual glasses on um, and see it, and then it comes to life. And it's so, it's honestly, it's fascinating. It's so amazing. So we've got our larder, larder cupboards here. Um, obviously, loads of storage in this kitchen. Um, and then we've got our combi oven and our normal oven and then a warming drawer as well and then our induction hob but yeah as i said we absolutely love it it's just amazing so this is our extension bit so this is what we have built on to the original house so we really wanted to create like a whole uh, relaxed kitchen diner sort of atmosphere uh, so we're going to have a tv eventually up here on this wall we've just got this unit from ikea to store um, bits and bobs in that maybe you don't use all the time or things like um the placemats and things that you can get out for dinner and then eventually we want a nice big table here um, and have six seats three down each side so both ends are clear for us to be able to walk up this way and walk through that way um, another thing to mention that we love about this kitchen is the floor so originally we we're going to get tiles but we spoke to a couple of people and uh, like porcelain tiles and they warned us a little bit maybe about like how hard wearing they are um, Maybe they, maybe they're scratching and things like that. So we decided to go for this, which is something called LVT, which is uh, luxury vinyl tiles. Um, they're actually more expensive than the tiles we went for, which is quite surprising. But they're honestly they're really hard wearing. They're white clean and they're so easy to maintain, and they look fantastic. So we're really pleased with it. So this is the other side of our dining room. So we've got this cuddler sofa from DFS again so we just fell in love with it it was the perfect size for the kitchen diner so when the tv's on the other wall we might be able to sit down here while the food's cooking or if we have guests they'll be able to sit on here as well and watch the telly um, and then we just got these prints our favorite rooms are Di Serrano and some Lauren Perrier Rosé which is also very nice um, and then we've also got these tower radiators either side of the bifolds and our really beautiful bifolds. So this is the main reason for the extension was to have these bifolds to really let in loads of light. Um, you can obviously see the garden is looking a bit worse for wear. One, it's winter and two, we haven't done it yet because when we moved in, um, obviously all the building work was still happening so there was stuff in the garden so we spent all last summer um, flattening out the grass, putting our grass seed in, tendering it with love um, and then our aim will be to um, pave this area down here and then also um, deck that top area there so we've got a really nice area for barbecues and things. Our utility, so this was our second part of our extension, um, so it's, people always come in and say oh it's a bit for a utility but it's just perfect for us. So we've got a back door there which will go out into the garden and then this way which leads onto the front of the house so that if we've ever got anything muddy or if we've ever got muddy fit, feet, we can come in this way and then we aren't um, going to travel it all through the house. So we've got our, um, another fridge in here, which is quite nice, just a little under counter one, our tumble dryer and washing machine. And then we've got our um, sink. And actually we do a lot of our washing up out here. So I'm quite glad that it's quite big because it, um, obviously when you're washing up and stuff, we've got a snag list as long as our arm. So even though we're, we're nearly finished, we've still got lots of things in snagging in and correcting the, some of the stuff that we need to do. So that's on our list to do next. But for the moment, we're really happy with this room. It's so light and it's just lovely. So this is the upstairs. This is the least work that we've done to the house. Um, the bathroom is over here and I'm just gonna get a little sneak peek in there, you can see. It's definitely nowhere near finished. I'll do a separate um, video on that to show you what it's like at the moment, what it was like before and what it will be like. So as we go into this room, this is our office, which we are so pleased we have got at the moment, particularly as we're working from home. And then the second bedroom, which is actually our mate, our biggest bedroom, is our master bedroom. So we've got, you can see a temporary telly there. We've got our king size bed. You would like to know, I did steam that bedding um, when I put it on, but you wouldn't think it looking at it. Never mind. Uh, looks lived in. Um, so yeah, so we've got just our nice big blinds, we've got our side tables with matching pictures and uh, light and then obviously our wardrobe there, but it's just, we've continued the theme with the black, white and grey and we just, it's find it really relaxing and calming. Then this is my beauty room upstairs, so this is a spare bedroom, so we've done it, so hopefully it's quite neutral so that if in the future we do decide to have children, we can change it.
there is our first house tour. So I hope you enjoyed it and I'll make sure I do another one when we've got the additions like the dining table and the TVs and things like that and obviously the bathroom. Um, but give, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to also subscribe if you want to stick around and see more videos like this.